Hey, my name is Kenny. I'm a director of product here at GitLab. I, um, if you know, I use a lot of issues and issue boards for tracking my own work. And I wanted to show um, an interesting thing that I found when trying to use um, swim lanes and epics um, on my personal board. So let me go ahead and share what I'm seeing. Okay. Now let me show you how I got here. So, um, okay. I have this weekly priority setting reminder. And one of the things that I'd said was, hey, for next quarter, I should start using epics and swim lanes on my personal board. Um, um, before I won't, I'll take off the no grouping. So how I use my board is that I've got basically these three labels. Um, I use ready as my like, hey, there's a time frame for this, but it's not today. <laughs> In case these are today or out of date, so shame on me. But um, doing is things that I'm actively doing, like working on today. Um, and then in review are things that I'm waiting for others that the, the work is complete. Um, and then I have all these opens and what I typically try to do is say like, oh, if I've got something to do and it's in February 16th, then I move that to my ready column and February 12th, so I move that to, to here. Um, but another thing that I try to do is um, be a good steward of my own time. And so I have these set of quarterly priorities. And I was thinking, hey, it would be kind of cool if I could have um, epics for each one of these and then see a swim lane of like, what, what are the actual activities I'm doing on a weekly basis and issues relative to uh, these different themes. Um, I thought I would try this out by first creating a uh, group level epic that's on the gitlab.com. It's just for my weekly reminders. So in this case, I have like some weekly customer contact reminders, opportunity reviews, priority setting um, that are auto generated for me every week. And I thought, oh, if I put them into this uh, epic, then I will be able to have a swim lane of those on my board. Um, so I created this epic. I added this one weekly priority setting item to it. Um, you know what? I might just add another one like this opportunity review. Um, where is that? I thought I'd get a little sidebar thing for this. No, okay, let's do this here. I'll add this to my weekly reminders epic. And um, I have another weekly one that I was working on. Uh, opportunity review. I guess those are the only open ones I have at the moment. Um, okay, so I thought, oh, well, if I just use this group by epic, this'll work. So I went to that, take some time to load. But one of the things that's kind of disappointing is that it does load epics for closed items. Which I'm kind of like, oh, that's not super useful. And it makes it hard for me to use this feature because I have tons of closed items that might have had epics. And I don't really want to, I mean, I don't have a ton. I guess I only have five. Um, but I want, don't want to have to go back through and remove the epic from those. It would seem to make sense that you would not want to, in, to show the epics where the only items left were closed items. So um, anyway, uh, a weird kind of nuance that I think is gonna prohibit me from using this very effectively if I always end up having any closed epics here. So I thought I would share that with the team um, and that's it. Stop share and stop recording.